Afcas 29th of March 2021 take one I don't know why I said that because there's only one take because <laughs> this is the uncut version although I did have three takes the other day because it didn't work so we'll see Okay, so let's get this ready. Let's record that. Let's record that one. Let's record that one. And everything else is down. Let's do new project. Yes. Duh. Record armed and sound is rolling. There you go. I suppose I better do this again then. <laughs> Synchronization for sound, take one. Okay, so it's March 29th, I think. 29th? 29th. And yeah, Monday. Lovely day. I do, I'm do. i doing this now Sunday to Thursday. I don't know if you got that. So what's happening is because it's only 2 o'clock now, the figures won't be out for today until tomorrow. So I've only got yesterday's figures. But I did it yesterday so late that I got the actual figures from yesterday. So the COVID figures on this AFCAST is going to be the same as yesterday. So there's no change. So if you saw yesterday's, you can skip over that bit i think i can i think i can put chapter markers in the comments in youtube i might try that if it doesn't take too much if it doesn't take too much uh, hassle there okay so are we ready to go i'm not sure how loud this is going to be but we'll we'll start off loud and then i can make it quieter oh the other thing what i did is i've been um mixing it afterwards but i'm going to try and mix it live today so we'll see if that works good welcome ladies and gentlemen to afcast tenerife afternoons i'm your host tim dowd on today's show we've got a little bit of weather we've got the latest in the covid saga nip over to Janet Anscombe's website and see what the headlines are there and then we'll have a look at the government website too don't forget to like and subscribe all the details will be at the end enjoy the show Okay, I'd like to thank Ian for um, coming in and doing a little update for us from Dundee. So let's see if we can hear Ian now. And go on a sec. Let's do this. Good morning, Tenerife Afcast Afternoons from a rainy Dundee on Sunday, the 28th of March. A quick update as to what is happening in our area. With the addition of one extra hour of practical daylight, the farmers are busy ploughing, sowing and planting the fields for this year's crops. And with the better weather, there are many new lambs in the fields, getting their first bite of the new fresh grass. At home, many people with gardens are hard at work for the new season. That's it for now, folks. And if you are out walking in the countryside, please respect the countryside code. Stay safe and positive. Bye from Ian. Well, thank you, Ian. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. If you want to join Ian and uh, send me a message, then contact me through my website, timothydowd.com, and we'll organize a time and I'll uh, interview you online. And you can dial in like Ian did. And uh, nobody's watching, just you and me. And then we record something, you have a look at it. And if you like it, then we'll use it. Okay, let's go ahead with the weather. Well, 
Well, there's going to be plenty of weather in the next few days, so they say. It's been sunny, actually, this morning, and then the clouds came over a little bit, but it's still only wispy clouds. And if we take a look out at the satellite view, you see there's clouds up to the northwest of us and to the south of us, but we're pretty okay in the middle there. Now, zoom out there to the view of the the whole of the Atlantic, you see there's a massive high there, and that little isobar to the top there is the Gulf Stream. So that is going to be your weather for today. Okay, now we can go over to COVID. Uh, before we do that though, I did a little walk today, and I want to show you that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, basically, it was also showing you that the Socceristas are back on the beach. Those are the lifeguards. They're here for one week only, I'm afraid. It's the, uh, it's the Easter week. And also, I met some German tourists that have just arrived and found something out, actually. The Germans, uh, they need a PCR test to enter Spain, uh, the same as any other high-risk country does. And, uh, but the Germans actually pay for it, so you actually get that on, the, uh, on your health insurance in Germany. Unfortunately, you have to pay out of your own pocket to go back. They don't pay for the one that you have to have here. So that was interesting. Uh, also, I, uh, we said the Socceristas, and then I met some people. This is that, the Civil Protection Agency. And I'd never seen the cars before, but apparently they've been around for years. But because civil protection is like the all-encompassing um, thing for, uh, like the police and the ambulance and the fire service and all that civil protection. Um, but they uh, were with two uh, ladies that were actually employed specially to give information on COVID. So they'll walk around the streets, and um, they're not they're not like traffic wardens where they say put your mask on, but they will advise you that it, it that your mask is supposed to be on and over your nose, and there's certain ways of doing it. And they're there to answer any of your questions about the latest uh, 
of rules from COVID and stuff like that. So that's interesting. That shows that the town hall is taking that into consideration. And they were very helpful, the people there. Um, we spoke Spanish. Um, the English was, was limited there, but basically it's for the locals anyway. Um, because the tourists are, are usually pretty okay because they've just had a PCR test uh, before arriving. So they're the safest group, really, uh, as long as they don't go cuddling everybody. And there you go. It's a shame, really. You know, I used to love me tourist cuddles. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go ahead and do the COVID, even though it's the same as yesterday. For those of you who didn't watch yesterday, we'll have a look at COVID now, shall we? COVID-19 update. Well, as of yesterday, the 28th of the 3rd, 2021, at 2 p.m., the total COVID was around about the 4,155. And if we nip into Tenerife now, they've got 2,146. And I did the breakdown yesterday, so if you want to see the breakdown, I'll do the breakdown again. Here we go. So the breakdown is just over a thousand in Santa Cruz, just under 500 in La Laguna. Arona is up a bit at 126. Adeji is just around about the 100. And Granadilla de Abona is just under 100. The rest are under 50. So uh, let's see if it's going in the right direction. This is the average seven days. And it is going in the right direction, hopefully 65.7. So that was your COVID for today. Okay, so now we're going to nip over to Janet Anscom and uh, have a look there. I've got Janet Anscom on this thing here. There's only one headline today, but I'm going to read it out. Now let's go over to JanetAnscom.com to see what the headlines are there. Well, there's just one headline that I can see. Oops. There's just one headline that I can see there, and it's unsurprisingly law allowing departure from UK different to those allowing entry into Spain. This is an update of the of the the story that's been going on now that we both changed our rules for entry into Spain and exit from the UK around about the same time. And a lot of people are reading one and not reading the other. So people say, yes, I can go on holiday as long as I do this, that and the other. And then they forget that they're no longer in the EU. So it says here, here is Spain's official announcement published today in the BOE that the ban on direct arrivals by air and sea from the UK is not to be extended beyond Wednesday. The same announcement also officially confirms the extension of another set of rules by which third country nationals may enter the EU Schengen area, which includes Spain, and those rules are here, and she leaves a link. The order from July last year, which now has been extended to midnight on the 30th of April this year, with the possibility of further extensions beyond that. Please note that although the UK will apparently let British nationals out, even to view a property somewhere else, Spain won't let them in for that purpose. Probably other places won't either. The reasons Spain accept are returning home, possession of a visa, health professionals, transporters, diplomatic, military and humanitarian corps, students for purposes of study, essential highly skilled workers, imperative family reasons and situation of force majeure or humanitarian necessity. So there we have it. It's, uh, it is official that uh, you can't just enter Spain from outside the EU until the 30th of April. And it could be extended further. So even though you do have uh, rules that for leaving the UK, make sure that you look at the rules for entering the country that you want to visit as well. And I forgot to... Uh, 
unmute the music. Are we finished? I'd like to thank Janet Anscombe for her wonderful website. And if you want to know more, go over to janetanscombe.com. So I did actually uh, translate the news into, uh, into English today. But uh, it's so small I can't read it. So I've got to read it first and then I'll read it again. So you'll see it first, and then I'm going I'm to squint and read it, but then I'll read it out later. So this is the uncut version, so you'll see how all the magic happens. If you go ahead and listen to the podcast, then you'll just hear me reading out the stories. So that's pretty cool. Okay, here we go for the... Let's do it like this. Let's go over to the government website now and see what the headlines are there. Okay, so I'm going to turn this to the side, shimmy over, and then play this one. This is for you guys, but I'm just reading off it. Well, they're leading with the headline, the immigration forum sends a unanimous message and the dog is barking like a little booger. Let's stop that. Shut up! Okay. Got this dog down the bottom, and for some reason he thinks he owns the place. He's about that big. He's got a mouth like that. It's like Muttley is. Anyway. <coughs> got my clicker today. The leading with the headline, the Immigration Forum sends a unanimous message so that the Canary Islands do not live in a permanent humanitarian crisis. And then there's a couple of other headlines there. Uh, the health says they vaccinated 281,000 people. Uh, the education forum makes it available that women in the Canary Islands with a new collection of digital resources and ecological transition. Well, you can read those anyway. And there's plenty of others. So nip over to the government website if you want to see more, in my glasses. I'll read that again after. Okay, so here we go. Uh, that was it for today. So if you want to know anything else, just go to timothydowd.com. Send me a message. And... Uh, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for taking for listening. Small town bliss. I'd like to thank each and every one of you today for listening. I uh, hope you download the podcast or favorite it or do whatever you need to do. If you want to join us on YouTube, you can go to youtube.com slash LWMST. We go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.55. We also have a page on Facebook at LWMST. We do post to Instagram. Mostly food. And I'm starting doing Instagram TV with my walks. So check those out. That's Living with MS Tenerife. We are Twittering, but we only publish there. We don't really read it. That's LWMS Tenerife. And as I say, go to timothydown.com for any other reason. Send me a message. Learn how to sponsor the channel. Join me live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Or just read the blogs. Everything's there that we've ever done. Go and search it. Beautiful day here in Tenerife, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So what I've got to do is I've got to go back. Little dog's barking again. 
I've got to go back and re-record the English language bit of the other thing for the podcast. So if you want to find out uh, what the thing was, well, you could actually just pause it and read it. But uh, yeah, if we go back and do that, then uh, I'll uh, I'll keep recording on the sound because that's the one I use for the podcast. You see, this is the uncut version, so uh, I'll do pretty well. Twenty minutes long. That's not too bad actually. Right, so let's see if I can undo this now. Uh, let's get rid of Timothy Dowd. Let's do A, B, A, and B. And Google thinks you might want to see this one next. And if you click on our wedding photo, that'll take you to see how you can sponsor the channel. And the little round one, just in case you're not subscribed, you can subscribe to YouTube right there. Costs you nothing. See you now, guys. Bye.